Today we are at Sand Key Lighthouse. It's about 12 miles south of Key West. There's a bunch of mooring balls out here. He just put the drone up. He's getting some footage of the lighthouse. This is the second largest uh, reef in the world. No, 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 no. That's a third. It's the third largest reef in the world behind, I think it was one in Belize and then the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. So we brought all of our stuff. We brought lobster stuff in case we wanted to go lobstering, but you can't fish here because it's a protected area. We got our dive flag. We got our fish flag. It's a fish windsock that I don't know why is up there, but he wanted it up there, so it's up there. So we're going to go snorkel the reef here in a little bit. Boca Grand Key and Woman's Key is just like a far off um, sandbar that we have not been to yet, but we've heard is really, really nice. Depends how we feel. Depends on the weather. The weather is constantly changing here. Our boat is sitting in about 40 feet of water on the mooring ball, but it gets quite shallow the closer to the lighthouse you swim. This is the only living coral reef system in the continental U.S. and is home to nine historical underwater shipwrecks that extend from Key Largo to Key West. There are plenty of wildlife here, ranging from reef sharks, stingrays, huge parrotfish, blue tang, snapper, hogfish, grouper, but beware of jellyfish and barracudas. southernmost lighthouse of the Florida Keys, and there are a total of six lining posts. This one stands at 109 feet tall. so distracted by this giant school of fish that I almost bumped into this jellyfish.
lost for a while Trying to please everyone who's around me I've been putting on my fake smile Even though I'm wasting time We left San Key Lighthouse and came about nine miles away to Woman's Key. We're on our way to Boca Grande Key, but we saw this like beach area and we're like, whoa, I think we need to stop here. So we stopped, ate our sandwiches. There is maybe like four or five other boats over there. And then this is essentially an island with a really big beach. There's actually like a little dinghy or maybe like a kayak all the way over there. Pretty nice spot. And there's also like this mega mansion over here. With like a little tiki bar on the other side of this island, they have this really big long pier. I assume for their massive boat to get to their massive house. There's so There's much oil. All oil. That's a lot of oil. Shouldn't someone come clean this up? It's probably like a foot See one of, these of, of oil. There's clothes, some bottles, hats. There's a white claw, but that's probably from someone walking by. Someone said that this has been here like a day or two. It looks like wood over fiberglass. We are now at Boca Grande Key, and we just walked past a chug. Define what a chug is. These little rafts that Cuban migrants come over from Cuba in. And they show up pretty frequently. And there's always like a bunch of oil in it, and they look like shocking. Like how does 20 people go 90 miles in this little tiny boat? But kind of interesting to see. bunch of boats up there were just like beach. Our boat is probably sitting in two feet of water. Yeah. It's like an actual beach to walk on, which is pretty nice. Probably like, what, 12? 13, 12 miles. From Key West. Run right away. 